let's talk about the marketplace there is such a concept like the marketplace now you, you, you don't think I'm talking about business at all the marketplace is a name that attempts to capture the system of exchange on earth the marketplace has nothing necessarily to do with business it is a strategy that allows men to exchange possibilities for other possibilities are we together now that it is the place of exchange when you sow and you reap you exchange your seed for a harvest are we together now so listen it, the, the, the spiritual the, the economic barter system was a, a download of a strategy that is ancient and works in the realm of the spirit exchange Jesus himself used that law on the cross the Bible lets us know that it was through this mystery of exchange that he became sin it is even through the mystery of the exchange that we become the righteousness of God in Christ please understand we're dealing with something serious here the ability to exchange what you have for what you do not have hmm. so I can bring my weakness and exchange it for strength I can bring my ignorance and exchange it for knowledge are we together this is very very important Jesus born the sinless lamb of God when he walked upon the earth for 33 and a half years he was flawless in every way and then the Bible tells us that one time he needed to become sin and he needed to apply this law of exchange and the system for that exchange started theologically speaking in what we call the communion right he's sitting with the disciples and he picks bread that he said he was the living bread so he was carrying himself and he broke himself into several dimensions and shared it across the body of christ the number 12 is a number for government he was not just giving 12 disciples it was a mystery are we together now because the government represent people is that not true so he was that was the human race prophetically captured in 12 people Jesus was breaking himself giving them different dimensions of him and by that exchange now on legal basis he could become sin because he said if you eat my flesh and you drink my blood you can partake of my life and that means I can also partake of yours it's an exchange in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration is the system that makes two entities become one It's the same thing that happens in marriage when the Bible says two become one it doesn't mean they enter into themselves no it means that spiritually there is authorization to share are we together is the same principle that is used in impartation when you are a partaker of a man's grace that door that gate is open so that there is a sharing together hmm. hallelujah and that this cosmos operates by that law nothing really goes for nothing now listen very carefully that your relevance will be based on your understanding this principle of exchange it's just that business people have been the most outspoken people to operate that law but it was not meant for business it's a system is one of the wisdom keys for operating in the cosmos i can exchange something i have for something i do not have amazing revelation that means i do not need to cry for what i don't have there is a principle already built in this system are we together now the yesterday's version of me can have something and i can exchange it for what tomorrow's version requires so whatever is not in my life now i don't need to be afraid because there is provision for growth